And then this is the Neck Mint Travel Charger in white. Nothing on the box besides a barcode. Works with all USB-C devices, and this is a 60-watt Pro Travel Charger. One-year warranty as well, and their support information at Neck Mint. So, let's take a look at this one. I love packaging they do. Don't know why they do nice packaging for uh, the travel chargers. And that's it for the box. Another uh, little, you know, user's guide. And this one actually says that uh, it's 60 watts if it's just one device on USB-C. And if you're charging two devices, it's 45 watts on USB-C and 12 watts on the USB-A. So still very, very good and acceptable charging speeds. This is the actual charger. The uh, clear white front again. And, oh, and the back. This one has a little bit of a rubbery feel to it. I like that. The bottom, the USB-A and the USB-C port. And then uh, this is just on the back plug into the wall. Very, very nice. In my opinion, Neckmint makes some of the nicest chargers I've felt. Like normally they feel cheap and plastic. These have not felt like that at all. All of these have felt like very good quality chargers that I would trust my devices on. Let's find us two other things to uh, plug in and charge up with this thing. All right, so now we have the Neck Mint, the Pro Travel Charger with a uh, full USB port and a USB-C port. So we are going to take this Neck Mint charger and we're going to charge up both of these devices at the same time. Pixel 3 XL is on 7%. It'll be the USB-C. And my iPad's only on 4%. It will be using a uh, lightning cable that has a regular USB end. Now you can use this to charge a laptop. If you're charging a laptop with this you get the full 60 watts if you're using USB-C but when you're doing what I'm doing it splits it. So 45 watts goes to the USB-C and 12 watts goes to the USB-A. That's only when charging two devices at once. Let's uh, take this and plug in our Apple cable and C-type cable. All right, so everything is wired up as it should be. 7% on the Pixel 3 XL, 4% on the iPad, and we are plugging it in. Bam. We are, and we're charging, and we're charging. Set a 30 minute timer. Sure, 30 minutes. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Both of them are charging, 30 minutes. Let's see where we get to. Stop. All right, so it's officially been 30 minutes. Unplugging the charger. And our iPad went from 4% to 17%. And the phone went all the way to 53% from 7%. So over 45% on the Pixel 3 XL. And over here on the much slower, older, like three or four year old iPad, we got about 13% charge in 30 minutes using this charger. So uh, very nice. I dig it.